Hey guys, this is Gondale here. Today we are taking a look at the braided loop and solo loop. The solo loop retails for $50, braided loop retails for $100, but that doesn't really matter. What I wanted to talk about here in this video is really the sizing. So I measured myself and I put the number in Apple's website and that recommended me a size seven. So here if I go ahead and do exactly what I did for Apple's website, maybe I did something wrong. That is possible. But regardless, I'm making this video so that maybe it can help some people out. Um, right here, we get about 17 right there. You can see that right there. And I'm pretty sure that's what I put into Apple's website. Maybe I tightened it even a little bit more because I wanted it to be nice and tight, the band. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't loose at all. So I might have said like 16.8 or so. And um, of course, centimeters, not inches, but I did 16.8, about, about something like that. And it said, we recommend a size seven. So I thought I bought size seven for both of these, but I actually made a mistake and I bought the size four for this rubber solo loop. And I'm glad that I did because these things, look at the stretch on these things. It is insane. These things are great because you could even purposely, you know, maybe measure your feet or whatever and get it so that you can put it around your ankle if you're, you know, running or doing surfing. I don't know. In some cases, if you would want to do that, you could do that. Get a really nice tight, solid fit with one of these bands. Regardless, I will show you here the difference between the size four first and the size seven. So here's the length that you can get there. And you can see that the size seven right here is a little bit longer, but not by much. I mean, you would think that size four to size seven would be a huge difference, but it's actually not. But that little bit of a difference is enough to make it super loose and super tight. And given that these materials, as you can see, stretch a ton, that means you can go down a size to make sure that it does fit nice and snug or just get the size that's recommended if you want it to be loose, which I don't quite recommend. So you can see here, it goes on very easily and boom, right there, it's snug. It's not tight, it's just snug. I was thinking I would probably be a size five just to get a little bit more breathing room, but honestly, I would be fine wearing it like this because it feels so secure. But I do wanna test out a size five just to see. Now we put the other one on my other hand. Let's go ahead and connect it here. And they're all very easy to connect and put on the watch and take off and stuff. And the material feels really great. I really do think these are the best bands that Apple has made. So you can see here, past my wrist right there, it's very, very loose. It almost negates the purpose of having these really um, tight bands with no clasp or anything because it just kind of shakes around. And if you prefer that, then of course you know what to do. But if you don't, then make sure that you size down. At least, you know, that is just my opinion, what I believe and what I think based on what I've seen here. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to try here is the tool that Apple allows you or kind of tells you to print out to find your size. I didn't do this because I thought that if for some reason it would be more precise to actually measure myself. I usually do use tools like this, but on this occasion, I actually just measured myself. So we're gonna see how the sizing is and what this would recommend because from what we saw in the previous videos, I am definitely a five or so, definitely not a seven. So I think even if I recommended a six, that's more correct than just the measurement that I inputted onto their website. Almost a six right there. So I don't know. I don't think this is right. It, it's not taking into account the fact that the thing stretches and uh, or maybe it is. I think just Apple wants you to have a slightly tight or looser band but i think that's interesting because the band will over time stretch and then if you get something that's just too perfect over time it's going to be too big on you so that is something to keep in mind even this tool right here it's just not quite measuring that perfectly uh because right here i think that is recommending a seven not a six so something to definitely keep in mind this one shakes a lot this one shakes nothing at all. Man, does that feel, it feels almost freeing. Like I could do anything without the watch ever moving. Feels really, really great. But there you go. If you're buying an Apple Watch band here or you're buying a new Apple Watch, I highly recommend that you choose one of these new loop bands because they feel incredible. When I say incredible, I mean like something 
nothing that I've ever worn on an Apple Watch. It makes it feel like a completely different product. I'm a big fan of these bands. All right, so I do wanna add this section to the video real quick to answer some questions. First of all is, will this band dry quickly enough when you get it wet, this braided one right here? And the answer is relatively yes. About indoors, it'll take about 45 minutes or so, or an hour. Right now, it's been wet for about 15 minutes. And while it's not nowhere near as wet when I was, you know, first underwater, but uh, it is relatively dry. Like if you wore this right now, you wouldn't be like, oh, it's super, super wet. It's just a little damp, like, it, like you know, you put your hand underwater. Regardless, of course, this one's gonna dry instantly. This one was also underwater at the same time that this one was underwater. You can see there's no signs of water anywhere. So definitely not something I would wear for the pool or anything with water activities, but if you do, it's gonna dry relatively quickly enough especially if you're out in the sun or anything like that of course that's going to speed it up right now i am indoors another question is about dust and stuff with the silicone band and i ran it through a very high traffic area and that was pretty good as well i really had no issues with that because while it does stick on here you are able to quickly remove that and just wipe off any dust or anything like that is it going to attract more than the braided yes it is but both of them very easy to clean if you get hairs and dust and all that on there. And uh, really no issues there. But of course, again, this material is just gonna attract overall more dust and more hairs to it. But again, it's easier to clean. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Another one of the questions that I wanted to answer is this case that I have on my Apple Watch. The link that will be down below. This is the Mixi Hard Shell case. And basically it's quite hard to remove here but I am going to try so I can show you guys the case real quick. And uh, it's just essentially a bumper with a tempered glass screen protector right on it. So basically I have I that on, that. whoops, I have that on because I broke the screen here. Oh, you can see all the glass shards falling out. So basically this keeps that intact. I can't put a glass screen protector or anything really on this itself. So I like this one because the protector is on there and it kind of keeps everything in place for this. So you can see that not great. And that's why I have this case on this right here. So yeah, that is that case link below in the description. I do personally prefer the feel of this really soft silicone here. However, this does feel great. And I feel like this would be a nice band to wear out to an event or something, something a little bit where you, you want some more color or something or something that looks a little bit more professional, I guess, than just this. But either way, both really great bands. I will be taking a look at like that new leather loop as well later on this week. But that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick little video showing you guys the bands there so you can see for yourself and uh, the sizing. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.